Hello every person who happened to click on this video, my name is Solar Sands. Now, I know many of you clicked on this video with a confused look on your face, because this is very different from my usual content, so let me explain. Many years ago, I found a musical artist by the name of Lauren Bousfield, and of course, I loved the music. I've been listening to Lauren Bousfield long before I even started this channel. I obviously think her music is great, but she has not gotten much attention, which is why I decided to make a shout out slash music review over her. Now trust me, I am no expert in music. Music, so I am not going to be the most professional sounding when I review this music, so keep that in mind. And I will probably not be doing many more music reviews in the future, so don't send me links or names to a bunch of musical artists you want me to review. But there is another reason I am doing this music review. I was going to do this review a lot later when I had more subscribers, but because of the circumstances, I decided to do it now. Lauren Bousfield is currently in the hospital. There was a fire, she cannot work, and she lost almost all of her personal belongings. She has started a GoFundMe page to pay for her medical bills. I will leave a link to that and a link to a video which gives more details. Now I usually don't ask for likes or shares on my videos, but this is the exception. Please, if you cannot donate money, at least like and share this video so we can spread the word. Now to begin with the music review. The first album, which I think is the beginning of her musical greatness, was Nero's Day at Disneyland, Rotting Fantasy Lands. If I could summarize this album in two words, those words would be insane and energetic. This album contains hundreds of unique sounds and a consistently fast pace throughout each song. There are many combinations of elements that make up this album. Some breakcore, a lot of electronic, some vocals. This album is probably my second favorite out of all of her albums. The second album is Locked Into Fantasy. This one, I have to say, is probably one of the weaker albums in the collection, but even at Lauren's worst, it is still incredible. This album had more of a melancholy feel and a slower pace with many more vocals, but it still maintains that energetic feel. The third album, which is my all-time favorite, is Avalon Vales. This is what I believe to be Lauren's absolute best. Her songs in this one are certainly a lot more chipper, but they contain even more insanity and energy than ever before. The songs are more powerful, more unique, more more epic than anything previous. They are truly incredible. The thing I like about Lauren's music is that while it is unique, weird, insane, and incredibly energetic, it isn't just someone hitting random notes or someone screaming all the time. It actually has pleasant sounds and beautiful elements that mingle within the insanity. That is what I believe is the brilliance of her work. Her songs are simply epic. She also has a new soundtrack album and a few individual songs that are fairly recent. You can watch them here. Anyway, my name is Solar Sands, and goodbye.